welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well you know taking care today we're gonna learn how to create this beautiful metal stamp bracelet don't forget to like subscribe and share this tutorial with a friend i hope you like this so let's start this tutorial so your first this is optional this is a rubber bench block i have another video talking about all the materials in detail so i'm gonna link it above feel free to check it out before this video of course you're going to need your letter stamps and you're also gonna need your metal blank whatever shape and size that you choose i just have these aluminum one inch blanks that i got from amazon you also need electrical tape i highly recommend this i will show you why because it's so much easier to work and align the letters with electrical tape i highly recommend polishing cream and of course your brass hammer this hammer has gone through a lot but it still does the job well you are also going to need your steel bench block my i accidentally bought it a little bit too small but it still does the job and i cover it so the blank doesn't get scratched and i also leave the other part of the metal blank on and i only take it off at the end to avoid any further scratching i don't like when pieces get scratched because who wants to sell a scratch piece of jewelry so now you're gonna align your metal blank on your steel bench block make sure it's centered because this is very important for when you start placing and engraving the letters into the blank now just go ahead and pick the word you are going to engrave get those letters out and ready you can also use a symbol stamp but that's completely up to you i also wanted to quickly show how these stamps look underneath as you can see that's the part that is going to get engraved in your metal blank and also this is the symbol stamp i'll be using the mountain sun and water it's super super cute now you're gonna bring your electrical tape this is what i use to align the letters perfectly i just cut a couple of pieces and i start covering the top and the bottom so i make sure to leave the center part to make sure that all the letters are gonna be exactly in the center of the metal blank this is just a life hack that i learned from another fellow youtuber who does a lot of hand engraved jewelry so i picked up on that as you can see i just make sure to cover the top part and the bottom part and you can also cover a little bit the sides to make sure you're getting that word center but that will depend on how long is your word after covering and checking that all the parts are going to be aligned and center you just need to start engraving and this is the part that gets a little tricky and sometimes takes a lot of practice to learn to get it perfectly so you're just gonna start taking your stamps like make sure you got all the stamps ready and your brass hammer too now so it is time to take that first letter in this case is letter v and make sure the letter is being placed properly just double check adjust all you need to and use the electrical tape as lines to guide how your word is going to be placed so for the brass hammer basically don't smack it just let the weight fall onto the letter stamp don't smack it too hard because the engraving will be shown in the back side of the blank and you do not want that it doesn't look good and it also bends the metal blank in the middle basically i just did this twice per each letter some people do it twice three times one time but i always do it twice to get that perfect engraving because that is highly important because if you engrave too little it will not appear as much if you engrave too much you might ruin the metal blank so it takes a lot of practice so i highly recommend to buy metal blanks in bulk so you can practice with a lot of these pieces because also remember these materials are very expensive um some of them can be very very expensive too and it's just a lot of work also some of these letters sometimes are tricky to place like the letter s for example it's sometimes a little bit too curved but it still came out looking pretty good now i just wanted to add that little symbol stamp that i showed before underneath the word for symbol stamps you do need to smack it with your soul and life um because since it's a symbol it's much harder to get the engraving to show on the metal rather than letters letters are much easier to work with letters and numbers actually but symbols like this are much harder and a lot of people say yeah just like smack it like it's not the same as working with letters so i just smacked it twice really hard 
sometimes three times if I need to and it came out perfect actually look at how cute it looks and now it's time to fill this engraving so to fill in the engraving you can use a sharpie marker or an oil based marker most commonly people use sharpies black sharpies you can use whatever color you want to but the most classic color is black and it's the color I personally choose and like also these markers are much affordable than an oil marker and now you're going to want to polish this and I personally use polishing cream some people only use a polishing cloth this cloth is not not a polishing cloth because with the cream and a normal piece of cloth like this is enough as you can see this cloth has been through a lot so I just add a little bit of this polishing cream and I spread it around before starting to actually polish it and you would think because the metal blank is a circle you want to polish it in circular shape but no this blank has a pattern of up and down so I personally like to polish it in a up and down motion until you see all the marker stains are gone. If you need to add more polishing cream or you need to polish more, please do. And it just came out looking more shinier because of the polishing cream. It also looks good and doesn't look scratched at all. Let's make sure to take it easy. I used to use a polishing cloth, but the polishing cloth will leave scratches, so that's why I moved on to cream. And now I just take off the other part of this metal blank. This part, I just leave it on because it helps protect the blank from scratches and dents. I personally just take it off at the last step. Like, that's the last thing I'm gonna do with the blank. We're gonna turn this into a beautiful necklace. You can turn it into keychains, necklaces, whatever you want it to be, it can be. I personally like the necklaces more and this makes such a cute gift too. So I just added the chain and the jump ring and here are the results. Just remember, this beautiful necklace can make a perfect gift also. This is kind of the end of the video, so make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. I'll see you all next week.